The Arlington Fly-In is a major annual fly-in in the Pacific Northwest. A normally uncontrolled airport gains a temporary tower and an 18-page notum procedure about approaches and departures. This can be intimidating to a pilot unfamiliar to this level of complexity, such as myself. So I made this video of my first arrival and departure at Arlington during the procedure's effect time so that other pilots who are considering perhaps visiting Arlington or another air show where a procedure is in effect can have some idea what to expect. The approach called for 90 knots and 1200 feet MSL to be executed along a path shown by this diagram. Uh, the Green Valley Airport was a particular central point and then in this case the runway 34 approach was in use. The general idea was to monitor tower frequency until you were called sometime at or after the Green Valley Airport. However, when I was coming in, I noticed a lot of people were checking in at the Green Valley Airport just to inform Tower of All their All right, approach. we're going to start the procedure at point one. In a few moments, I'll be at 1,200 feet and 90 knots. Silver RV-6 over Green Valley, that is for Arlington, uh, Town of And I'm going to turn on all the lights. Okay, we're established at 1,200 feet and 90 knots. Right, we're just about at point two. So I'm going to turn. We're going to go for the lake. I believed I was at point two, but I made a classic mistake that I made before and make a couple times in this approach, and that when I see something off the cowl, I think, oh, I'm there. But of course, actually, you're still several miles away at that point. So when I made this turn, thinking I was at point two, I was actually not quite at point two yet. The dark blue line uh, in the bottom left of this uh, picture shows you my actual track so far. It looks like I cut the corner a little too sharply at points two, three, and four. So I'm south of that. I'll re-intercept at point five. And when I say point five, I think I'm just using my imagination that there's a point five right at the uh, at the top of the turn at the top of the lake. That point five is just the north edge of the lake, followed by a left turn. Direct Green Valley. Again, I cut the corner at the lake too soon because I uh, saw it off the cow and said, oh, I'm there. Of course, that's not true. And then started proceeding direct towards Green Valley. Uh, as I was on my way to Green Valley, I noticed at this point you can start to see other airplanes. So far, I hadn't seen anyone else. Uh, and I saw a person approaching from my right, say uh, the southeast, and decided to turn behind him for sequencing. So when you look on the track, you can see there's kind of this turn uh, to the right and then back towards Green Valley, and that's the sequence behind another aircraft who I then followed all the way in. Red and white skyhawk over Green Valley. Roger. Dark-colored high wing approaching Arlington from the north. Use caution for office direction traffic. Looks like also another high wing dark-colored aircraft. Follow that aircraft coming from the south. Rock your wings. I heard the blue and green first child, and I'm heading for green down and then joining. Roger. So the tower was just talking to an aircraft approaching from the north, the north of Arlington, heading southbound. Um, that's the opposite direction we're going. We're coming from the south, going north towards Arlington. And that aircraft just responded and said that he was heading towards Green Valley, which is the starting point. So at this point, I'm watching for someone who's coming kind of right at me. Dark colored high wing just at midfield. Follow a Cessna on right base, runway 34, clear to land. Rock your wings. Here's the city. I will turn to join the downwind. 
I notice in retrospect the path was a little wide, uh, but I was just following the plane ahead of me. At this point, I knew that the plane ahead of me was probably on downwind, and I had also heard some people uh, some distance behind me as well. Cessna joining the downwind Arlington Tower. Follow an RV, red and white colors, on a midfield right downwind, runway 34, clear to land, rock your wings. The NOTAM specifically requests to avoid verbal responses unless absolutely necessary, uh, at least when dealing with the tower. So usually they tell you to rock your wings, uh, or you'll see in a bit, sometimes I use the double click on the mic to... Fairchild, just approaching uh, Arlington, proceed to midfield to join the right downwind. The traffic you're following is right at midfield of Cessna. Red and white Cessna at midfield. I believe I already cleared you to land where your traffic is. Uh, your traffic you're following is on right base number two, roaming three, four. Clear to land, rocket wings for me. He tells me the traffic I'm following is on right base, and, and I was kind of watching that traffic. Um, but ahead here, I get a little, I got a, you don't see it in the video, but I almost turned base in front of an airplane coming in to land. And so I either, either lost track of who I was supposed to be following, or there was another airplane that I wasn't counting on. But um, although you don't see it in the video, uh, there, I almost cut somebody off on final. I've heard that's a problem at fly-in, so when you're doing this, it's base to final or I should say down into base, and then base again base to final turn. Be really careful for other aircraft that are further out in the pattern than you are that you might be cutting off. Thank you. Child on downwind, you're following traffic on base, rock your wings. Blue Water RV, continue taxi, contact ground point two five, thanks. Arlington Tower, red and white mall at uh, three four on Charlie, ready for takeoff. Red and white mall, Arlington Tower, taxi all the way up to the white line. Red and white RV, turn left at Bravo two, then contact ground point two five. White Mall, there's a Fairchild on right base, runway 34, cleared for takeoff. Red White Mall. Red White Cessna, left turn at Bravo 2, then contact ground point 25. One of the big confusions for me, and I actually emailed ahead of time to clarify this, is that there's two ground type of controls. There's the FAA ground frequency 121.25, and then there was the parking frequency 124.3. And um, it wasn't clear from the NOTAM how those work, you know, who you contact, who you listen to, so. Ground Red Mike Skyhawk on Bravo 2, requesting taxi to General Aviation overnight. On Bravo, this Red is Skyhawk Arlington Skyhawk Park. Skyhawk on the ground, roger, turn right on taxiway, Bravo. Taxi northbound, once you pass the tower, ramp is 124.3. RV heading north on Bravo. Um, originally when I emailed, they said you just uh, monitor both of them. But uh, in my experience here, what became more clear is that the ground, FAA ground controls from the runway, between the runway and kind of the air show, and then the parking folks control within the air show. And you'll see that. The NOTAM included a series of signs uh, with big letters on them that would indicate to the, the ramp folks what section you'd be parking in. And in my case, GAO refers to general aviation overnight for campers. Uh, but they asked me on the radio anyways. A Cessna on Bravo, this is Arlington Parking. Go ahead. Yes, are you uh, for the day or overnight? Overnight, please. Okay, just continue your turn there on the Echo and follow the scooter. We'll take you down here to, uh, take you down here to 14. 
Scooter in sight, thank you. Another thing that you should review before heading to an event such as this is the hand signals for marshalling. Uh, it's something that is not commonly used for a lot of us who fall, fly small planes, and, and you know, for example, I don't think I've ever used them before. But uh, they're pretty simple, pretty easy to understand, but you want to make sure that you do know what those are so you can follow the signals when they're given. Arlington parking, November 54073 is at the south parking, row 14, ready to start engine. Aircraft calling Arlington parking. Yeah, I will have a scooter headed your way. Please wait until the scooter arrives for start. 073 will wait. Have a good flight, sir. So I waited. 10 minutes and no scooter, other scooters came and went, but no one came to me. So uh, finally, I called them back and asked if I took the grass taxi away, if I could go without waiting for a scooter, and they said that would be fine. Unfortunately, I don't have that uh, that on tape. I didn't get that. Uh, but then uh, after getting that approval, I went ahead and just started up and used the grass taxi away. more proof that it's always good to look both ways as I was coming up to this paved taxiway. Uh, I just happened to, to be able to catch a glimpse of a scooter escorting two aircraft along it, and so of course I stopped and waited for them. I got the impression when I talked to the parking folks previously that um, on the way out I should contact ground when I got to a sign that said ground 121.25. Incidentally, when I first tuned the ground frequency, I tuned in 121.5. Just kind of stared at it for a minute thinking, something seems off before I realized that. Fortunately, I didn't transmit it. Arlington Ground, red and white Skyhawk is at the ground sign on taxiway Delta, I believe, for takeoff. Red and white system, Arlington Ground, taxi runway 34. Red and white system will taxi 34. Arlington Tower, red and white Skyhawk holding short 34, ready for takeoff, request west departure. Red and white Skyhawk, Arlington Tower, runway 34, clear for takeoff, drop delay. Uh, red and white Skyhawk is clear for takeoff 34, understand no delay. Green and white Cherokee traffic, firing fire arrival, Cessna. RPM's good, oil pressure's good, oil temperature's good, production's good, airspeed alive. So 
certainly not as hard as it might seem from reading the notum.